lab, well, um, lab is my brand new series that I'm working on. Um, I've been coming up with this idea for about uh, two weeks now, and then um, I was generating all the characters and uh, the setting and the plot and everything. And it pretty much, um, lab just stands for the school that um, all the students are in. And yeah, so the show it takes place in a school in New York City, Manhattan, and um, it's about a bunch of kids, uh, a lot of them, that just go through different kinds of crazy events. And, you know, there's but each kind of kid has, like, something, you know, unique about him. For example, one kid's fat. <laughs> the other kid could be an Arab. The other kid could be a Jew. The other kid could be black and Eve. You know, it just, there's a, a variety of different characters. And um, so pretty much I get my political my religious view, and uh, pretty much ever, all my views on just different world issues through this series. And, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I was uh, trying to come up with ideas for machinimas, because it's been a while since I've made a machinima. So, um, I was just thinking of a different series, and I was thinking, you want to know, my life is pretty interesting. So, yeah. Um, we don't have any official dates. We're trying to, uh, yeah, we, the team. I mean, I am the writer, director, and um, pretty much everything. But I have some friends. Some of my friends from my school um, are helping me with some of the voices. So uh, I'm going to, uh, we don't know exactly. Um, I'm ready any time, but they have to, <laughs> we all have to come up with a date to come in one day and just do all the voices, get all that over with. And so, uh, yeah. I'm trying to get it in before, um, I would say around, before the 14th, but, um, that's really, that's really what I'm aiming for, the 14th or, uh, the 11th, but if I can't, then I can't, but I already have the first two scripts written. Um, it's definitely going to be a lot better. Um, a lot of my old machinimas might have not been up to uh, very high standards. I mean, if you saw some of my first machinimas, like the first episode of Three Stooges, you'll understand that I was quite horrific. It's even before I had a capture card. It was with this horrendous unregistered hypercam. It would just, I don't know, it, just, it just really sucked pretty much. And, uh, that's it in a nutshell, and um, I'm pretty much, I've just been, you know, evolving, just been doing different things, I've been seeing how other people make their machinimas, I've been getting some better connections, and if you see some of my later, view, like, you know, videos, like, later on through the year, so, um, posted last summer, pretty much the last time I made a actual full machinima, um, you'll notice that I did make a lot of improvements, but, uh, yeah, this is going to be, you're going to see a major improvement, and uh, it's a guaranteed laugh. And a good kick if you like some uh, political stuff. Um, well, I've known Marco, the creator of uh, the Halo movie team, for a very, very long time. And, um, yeah, I did do some work with him. Um, it, it's fun, you know. I, I'm always willing to do um, the Halo movie team videos, you know. But Marco, he's been a little bit of a MIA. You know, I think he, yeah, different stuff has been happening. So um, uh, I love the Halo movie team, but um, yeah, I just uh, I'm gonna come back to it eventually. Just right now, we're all, I guess I'm doing my separate thing. Like I said, um, all the characters are based off of real people. I mean, I, I like to, ex I pretty much extract the main points out of people, and I just, uh, I take those key points and I just really um, emphasize it. And, um, you know, um, I'm, I mean, my, a lot of my family is from the Middle East. I mean, that's why I said my character is the Arab. Um, I have a lot of my teachers in there. Um, you will notice, not in the first episode, but coming in the second episode, 
the dean takes, you know, the dean comes in. The dean's name is going to be Mr. Marco Blitz. Mr. Marco Blitz is uh, based off of my real dean, and you guys are in for a treat with my teacher. But, um, yeah. Um, I have a lot of, uh, connections at Machinima.com, don't get me wrong, but, um, I tried doing some stuff with them about a year ago when I wasn't very good. When I was mediocre around a year ago. Um, uh, they didn't really think I was up to their standards. I sent them in, uh, the first half of, uh, the pilot, the first episode of Lab. They thought I made a lot of improvement, a lot of my friends did, um, a lot of them thought that I'm getting better, but I'm still not up to their full standards. But um, honestly, I don't plan on working with Machinima, even if they did accept it. Um, my friend told me to told me to send in the video. It wasn't really my idea. I'm not, you know, a big fan of the whole Machinima thing. So I'm honestly just planning on posting it on my own channel. But I mean, I know if I get on Machinima.com, it's like a promise, like billion views. No exaggeration there, but <laughs> but I just um it's honestly I'm not I'm not doing this for the views. I'm not doing this for anyone, I'm not doing this for for fans, I'm not doing this for anyone, I'm not even doing this for myself. I'm just doing this because I enjoy making machinimas. It's just it's just a hobby, you know. It's a passion. And, you know, when you like something, you know, you can't control it. You just you have the urge to always do it. You know, I'm always coming up with different script ideas. All right, thank you for having me.